we've been talking about uh, the way that things don't exist, actually. Uh, remember, you could, you could divide up the, the world into objects, subjects, and the relationship between objects and subjects, right? Is there anything left between besides those three? Yes or no? Objects, subjects, and the interrelationship between them. Does, is that pretty comprehensive, what you said? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Right? I think so. So, uh, are, is, uh, is the world, are objects, do, do they have some kind of self-existence? Does the world, the things in the world, have some kind of self-existence? And our de Gargin is, you know, there's basically, he has basically three, three or four fundamental arguments that he runs over and over and over again. So, you know, maybe we'll start like that. So he says, for example, if things existed the way we think they did, they would have to exist as one thing or many things, right? So let's take, this, is this an object outside the world, right? This is a world, an object in the outside world, right? And let's like, you know, we always are supposed, when we do, when we do these kinds of emptiness thinking, meditations like, contemplations, we always try to get in touch first with how we think it exists. See, emptiness is not, emptiness is not something, nor is emptiness nothing. Emptiness is the absence of something. That's a middle way, middle way, okay? It's not something and it's not nothing. It's the absence of something you thought was there that isn't there. Do you get the difference between that and nothing? If you do, you're a really smart person. You've got really good seats. It's a subtle difference. But nothing, nothing implies what? Nihilism. It is nihilism. You could say nothing is nihilism. But nothing always implies what? Something. Right? You can't have nothing without something. You can't have nothing without, con without a conceptualization of something. Right? They go together. They, they, are, they are exactly what Nagarjuna is trying to overthrow one, one after another. These kinds of, the idea that, that these pairs have some kind of self-existence in them. Nothing depends on something. Right? You can't have nothing without something. You can't have something without... Nothing. Yeah. Okay? They exist. What, what kind of conceptualization could you have of nothing without a conceptualization of something? <laughs> you see? What would nothing mean if it weren't no, no thing, right? There's something, and then there's no thing. But there's thing, right? There's something, and then there's no thing, and there's thing. So emptiness is the absence of something, which is different than nothing. All right, so let's try it. If the things, so first of all, we have to get in touch with our idea of how things do exist, how, our idea, our false idea. If there was a cup out here in the room, right? Out here, objectively, in the world. If there was a cup out here, would that cup be here if we all left the room? Yes or no? Quick. No. 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 Oh, no. So it would just be it vanished, like the aliens would come and take it away? What? If it were out here, would the cup be out here when we all left the room? Yes or no? Yes. Try it again now. All right, yes, of course, right? All right, do we believe in cups that are out here, that exist, still out here, if we all left the room? Do we believe in cups like that? Yes. Anybody who doesn't believe in a cup like that, can, they can go home and watch TV now, because you're done. You're done with wisdom, see? If you, if you know, I, I know for sure. For sure I know that the cups would not be there if I didn't see them, <laughs> okay? So if, but if, if you don't believe that, if you, you know, you've got to get in touch with how you think they do exist. So if they existed out there, independently on their own, that's what we mean, independently with some kind of self-nature, objective nature, they would, they would have to be singular or plural. One thing or many things. Identical or different. So which one is that? It, which one is this? Is this one thing or many things? If it were out here, it would have to be one thing or many things. Which one is it? One. It's one thing. So I guess there's no parts in it. Because if it's one thing, how could you see parts in it? You see? Right? If it's, if you can see, can you see parts in it? Can you see a handle part and a, and a, what do you call it? Body part? Can you see a handle part and a body part? Yes or no? Yes. yes. So how can, it, you, how can you see two parts in it in one thing? How can you see two things in one thing? If it were one thing, you could not see two things in it. If it were out there. So where's the oneness of the, of the cup coming from? Has to be overlaid. Has to be overlaid onto the parts, you see? It's a picture in our mind. It exists only as, as one cup. It obviously, 
I mean, in a certain way, if you, if you do this all, you know, enough, it becomes very obvious that, of course, whole things, W-H-O-L-E, have to be projections. Whole things have to be projections. Because, because they, they cannot exist as whole things and have parts to them if they were out there. Because that's not what we mean by one thing. We don't mean one thing is simultaneously many things. It's one or, or many. It's identical, that's identical, or different. It's like difference in identity. See, so which one is it? One thing or many things? And then you go, well, what about the parts? Do the parts exist out there? What do you think? I put together the parts. I put together the parts of the, of the cup. I put the handle together with the, with the body and with the top and like that. And then in my mind, I make a picture of a cup. And that's how a cup exists as one thing, right? Is that right or yes? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, so, so what about the parts? Are they, do they have parts? Does, is there parts to the handle? Is there a, you know, the curvy part that goes down and this part that goes that way and then, you know, up, down, right, left, right? Are there parts to the handle? Yes or no? Yes. So on the basis of the parts of the handle, I put together part of handle, right? And then on the basis of the parts of the cup I put with, together with the handle, I put together a cup. Is there any level of parts where I'm not doing that same thing? Putting together holes on the basis of the parts. So what about the parts of the parts of the handle? Do they have parts? Does the bottom part down here have parts to it? Is there any part that you can find that isn't itself just a hole based on its parts? Just a projection. So what happened to the cup? Where'd the cup go? <laughs> I just did that six feet right thing. You're talking about six, six feet and right? right? It's like, it's just an illusion. It's got to be an illusion. See, can't be out there. Cannot be out there.